Ukemi and Aikido is a lot more than just falling on the mat so you can get up and practice some more Aikido. Ukemi is an extremely useful skill. For example, if I were walking along the street and somebody pushed me, I could do a roll. Of course, the other thing I do is after my roll, I get up and face the person that came for me. And that's good ukemi also. You should always be cognizant of your environment, know what's coming on. So again, I'm just walking down the street, somebody pushes me, I do a roll and turn. So another possible event is somebody pushes you from the front. And one response to this is as follows. Again, I turn to face. Notice how I'm doing this. When the person pushes, I'm going to keep connection with him. I want to maintain his feeling of pushing through, which takes his balance. So rather than just turning quickly as he pushes, rather than doing something like that, I'm going to maintain position. I'm going to maintain this connection with my attacker and turn and then face. So one more time. Maintaining connection as somebody pushes, and he loses his balance a little bit. Yes, we have fun. <laughs> I just want to point out that although we often work slowly, that in that last example, Ben was really trying to push me. If I hadn't done my technique properly, I would have fallen badly. And it has happened that I've fallen badly. This particular set of shooting, I, I fell properly. But um, it's really important when you work on Aikido to have things be real. And the higher level you get, the more real they should be. So if somebody pushes you, they often have more intent than just a push. So we're going to follow the push with an attack, and then the person who's been thrown has to get right back up and defend against the attack. So of course, there's lots of techniques that you could use in something like this. I'm just sticking, sticking with a simple Ikkyo style technique. So again, Ben pushes, I roll, I have to come back up and throw against an attack, whatever attack he happens to be giving. So this practice is really good for maintaining awareness staying calm when being thrown and, and then being able to receive a, an attack and deal with it in whatever fashion you can. And one more time. That was fun, so I'll do it again. Shape, kind of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> So, when doing Aikido, it's important to be aware that you can really hurt somebody. Uh, if you need to, you can, but preferably not. Thank you. Another really fun practice is to push back and forth into roles. So the Nage and Uke change roles back and forth. So. I don't want to stop. 